quality-wise, I mean, I have to admit that it's not quite up to the standard. However, it is growing and it is getting higher and higher and going to toward that standard and what I would term quality. They say the secret of your success in that movie, uh, The Big Boss, yeah. was such a success here in Rocket and either stardom in Asia, was that you did your own fighting. Uh, as an expert in the, in the various martial arts mm -hmm. in China, what did you think of the fighting that you saw in the movies that you studied before you became a star? Well, I mean, definitely in the beginning I had no intention uh, or, or whatsoever that what I, what I was practicing and what I'm still practicing now would lead to this yeah, I know. <laughs> to begin with. Uh, but martial art has a very, very deep meaning as far as my life is concerned because uh, as an actor, as a martial artist, as a human being, all these I have learned from martial arts. Maybe for our audience who doesn't know what it means, you might explain exactly right. what you mean by right. martial art. Right. Uh, martial art includes all the combative arts like karate or judo. karate, judo, Chinese kung fu or Chinese boxing, whatever you call it. Uh, all those, you see, like Aikido, calling, I can go on and on. But it's a combative form of fighting. I mean, it's not, some of them became sport, but some of them are still not. I mean, they use, for instance, kicking to the groin, jacking fingers in the eyes and things like that. No wonder he's successful in it. <laughs> Chinese movies are full of this kind of action anyway. They needed a guy like you could violence, man. <laughs> so you didn't have to use a double when you were <laughs> with all your films. Did you break five or six uh, pieces of wood in your hand or your foot? I'll probably break my hand. <laughs> <laughs> tell me a little bit. Uh, you set up a school in Hollywood, didn't you, for people like yeah. uh, James Diamond and Steve McQueen and the uh, uh, why would they want to learn Chinese martial arts? Because of a movie role? Not really. I mean, uh, most of them, you see, uh, to me, uh, at least the way that went, I mean, when I teach it, all type of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they are coming in to, I mean, for, and ask me to teach them not so much of how to defend themselves or how to do somebody in, rather, they want to learn to express themselves through some movement, be it anger, mm. be it uh, determination, or whatsoever. So in other words, what I'm saying therefore is that themselves through some movement, be it anger, mm. be it uh, determination, or whatsoever. So in other words, what I'm saying therefore is that he is paying me to show him in combative form the art of expressing the human body. Wow. It was acting. Well, well, it was useful too for an actor to have. It's, I mean, I might, it, it, it might sound too philosophical, but it's un acting, acting, or acting, unacting. You've you you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Uh, so what I'm saying, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. <laughs> I mean, here it is the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony. Not, if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man. No longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness of natural unnatural. Yin <laughs> Yang. Why, man? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of your students, James um, Coburn, played uh, <coughs> a movie.